guys, my name is Charlotte aka Honey New Sense here on YouTube. Today what we are doing is a video I've been waiting so long to make and I'll tell you why in just a second. But as you can tell by the title this is a testing new makeup video. I have almost a full face, I don't have everything. So the reason this is taking so long is because I was waiting for these to arrive. So, um, this came in one order because it was in stock when I was buying everything else. Then this came back in the stock, I got an email so I ordered that the next day. And then this only just came about five minutes ago. Um, I had to get the same foundation in two different shades, so I have F1 and F3. This is the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation. Um, I bought F1 because that was the neutral colour. I'm going to turn it all the way up. So that is it. And I'm really glad that I ordered F3, which is the pink toned one. Um, the yellow wouldn't have looked right on me. But it's a bit darker and I'm really glad that I got them because when you look at the colour difference, I mean, I don't know how this is coming on camera because frankly I'm blinded right now. But I think I need to mix them together because this looks a bit too almost grey for me. Um, this has a lot more colour in it. So I was dying to try out the um, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour from Makeup Evolution when this whole thing came out about it being like a dupe for shape tape. And then when the foundation came out I was just like well I need to try that as well. Um, so I've waited so long for this. I realise this is almost a testing Makeup Revolution video. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer. This to me looks like it will be a dupe of the new um, Pearl Professional by Benefit. Um, this also just came today, this is the Revolution Bake and Finish. I also have two of the Revolution um, loose highlighters. Um, the reason for this is I was watching an Imagination video and she said she put these highlights in this Vitamin E toning spray to spray all over our body because I always find it difficult to find like a shimmery um, like body oil or spray to put on during the summer months. I absolutely love that kind of look. But the thing is, I'm going to have to buy another one of this because I just love this as it is. So I'm going to have to buy one to use for my face and buy one to put these in. Um, so these might not be used in this video, you never know. Um, but I have used this just to kind of give myself a bit of a hydration boost. Um, because it's the middle of the day, so I don't want to um, moisturise again. Um, I also have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Pressed Powder in Translucent. I have an e.l.f. Intense Ink Liquid Eyeliner. Um, a Revolution Eyeshadow Palette, which has a highlighter in the middle. This I've seen um, on any of you might have seen my collab video I did. Um, Alice did the other palette, um, which has a pink highlighter in a different shade, but I really like this white, um, this red shadow. But when I've looked back at the photos of the other one, I really like the pink shadows in that, so if it's still available, I might have to get that one too. <sighs> and the second most exciting thing in this video is the Makeup Revolution times Soph X um, highlighter palette, that's what I'm trying to call it. Mostly for this lavender colour. Again, I don't know how well this is coming up on camera. Um, but when I have swatched these a bit and the lavender colour doesn't look very lavender. Like it doesn't look purple on the face. So I'm very excited for that. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. It's been like so long already. So I'm going to use the primer. Like I said, I've already used the Hydrating Mist. I don't know if that's too much. So as you can see, it's quite like a pearly look and it's pinky so this is why I'm thinking it might be a good dupe for the um, new professional. So I got this one, they have a bunch in the range, they have like a mattifying one, um, a colour correcting one, um, stuff like that but I got this one because A I want the pale primer, I want to try that um, but realistically can't afford it right now. Um, but also because I want to have the most luminous skin ever and I'm trying to just achieve that and I'm finding it very difficult. Um, okay I think that's sinking in. I look 
slightly dirty because it's like kind of washes you out you couldn't wear this on its own you could quite possibly wear this on top of your foundation as a highlight but it does give your face a really pretty luminous sheen it doesn't look glittery or like shimmery but it looks like you are glowing you look like a bit like you're an alien because you're just glowing so the things i'm missing from this is a blush a contour eyebrows and mascara i think that's it so i will cut out those bits probably um but anyway yeah let's start with the foundation and i'm gonna put f1 i'm just gonna kind of dot a mixture of f1 and f3 all of my face they do look like um they match definitely like both colors match me but i think together they'll be a perfect match hopefully f3 might be best even like you know in summer when i've got a bit of a tan i believe this is meant to be full coverage and from first glance it doesn't feel very full coverage um, I don't use, I used to just always be about the Real Techniques um, like base brush, the orange one, but I rarely use that now, like I, I tried to do my foundation with a brush and I hated it. Okay, so first impression, um, you need to use more, a little does not go a long way and I used a fair amount. Um, comparing it to my L'Oreal stick foundation that I did, um, I'd say they're very similar. Um, this, however, sits a bit nicer on the skin. I'm going to go with like a second coat, if you will. I'm putting it on slightly differently. I did just dot it on, so I'd, maybe I didn't put a lot on last time. Um, so now I'm just kind of swiping it on. The things with stick foundations, it's actually quite difficult to kind of mix them together. You have to kind of blend them on top of each other almost. Okay, but straight away, this is very buildable coverage. Um, there's a lot more coverage now that I've put more on, which is good. But it's not cakey at the same time. It's buildable without kind of caking on the face, which, of course, is what you want. You don't want to look cakey. You want to look airbrushed and flawless. I mean, if you want to look cakey, that's up to you. But... Okay, so I really like this foundation. It's not drying my skin out which I kind of expected it to, um, but we'll see how that lasts. I will kind of film a clip later on tonight to let you know how everything lasts. Um, but I'm liking how this is going so far. I think I actually really like this foundation. So, And I think I definitely like it better than the other stick foundation I have, the L'Oreal Infallible one, because it's just kind of sitting a little nicer um, on my skin. Okay, next, the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Again, very excited about this. I love the applicator. That is just so big. I love it. Um, I never a giant. I never use a whole lot of concealer at once, but like this has gone on quite thick. But at the same time, it's quite watery. It doesn't feel really thick. So I think it'll be kind of perfect for the under eyes. Um, I have this in C1 for anyone wondering. Wow, that's just sunk into my skin. That's blended. Like, I literally just bounced it a couple of times and it was just, like, blended. That's... what? That's amazing. Like, it's just gone. And I, I, my eyes are so much brighter. Like, oh my god. Okay, I never thought I would say that I would find a concealer this affordable that I like more than the collection Lasting Perfection because I love that concealer but this one blends oh my god I wouldn't say coverage is absolutely amazing um, but I'm, my, I might I, I know it's meant to have amazing coverage but maybe people have put more on than me so I am going to put a bit more just where most of my darkness um, under my eyes is which is right here I am quite lucky, I don't really get under eye bags, I don't have a whole lot of darkness in my eyes. Um, but it's very blue. Um, I just think, my mum doesn't really ever use, my mum doesn't even use concealer, so I don't think dark circles run in my family. I don't know 
Okay, I know at first I absolutely love this and I do love it. I love how light it feels. It's not heavy under my eyes in the slightest and it blends so nicely. But coverage wise, I mean I've not tried the shape tape but I know the shape tape is known for its coverage. And to me, I mean again I haven't got really bad dark circles, it's not like I have a lot of cover. But I can see the blue poking through, I always get it just here. This is the only place I get my darkness and it's still there. But for brightening I really like it. It is quite light so I'm wondering how it's going to be in relation to um, blemishes, especially if the coverage isn't so good. And that goes on like thick, like look at that. I think it might be a little bit too light for me to do any um, blemishes with, like that's really light, but that's fine really. I have, a, I have two other concealers, so. The coverage for blemishes isn't bad though, like it's covering the redness on my chin. It has really brightened up my under eyes, which I am really liking. I just think for coverage, I think I'm more likely to go to the Lasting Perfection. Um, but it's still a really nice concealer. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I've got concealer on. It feels really nice. So that's always good. I'm just going to do quick contouring um, and blush and I'll be back in a second. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of baking under my eyes. Um, I don't usually bake. But we're going to for once. Okay, I haven't put a whole lot in because I do have incredibly dry skin. Um, but I'm going to pop this under my eyes. Okay, that's made my concealer actually go really weird. Um, and kind of patchy. So, I think I didn't use enough for like a bake. But I have really dry skin so I don't really want to. I'm no, I'm going to just kind of come in really close. The thing is, my camera films in pretty good quality. But because I, end it, I edit in Windows Movie Maker, it then renders it in really low quality. So you might not be able to see this on camera. But, like, it's just kind of really, like, patchy here. And I don't know how to explain it. It just looks really weird. So I might put a tiny bit. <laughs> I don't even know how to save this. Okay, since we're not used to baking, we'll ignore that one. We're going to use the um, Fit Me. I do want the Fit Me um, loose powder, and that's it. But I don't think we have it in the UK. Um, so I'm just going to get a bunch of this on the brush. And just kind of dust it very lightly all of my skin. I like the finish that's given my skin. Um... I'm like matte but I'm not like fully matte, I didn't want to put too much on. Um, but we'll see how it makes my foundation stay. I have another powder um, which will probably arrive tomorrow, the Milani one because if I want to be matte I have this but that Milani it's the um, translucent luminizing setting powder which I'm really excited to come, my friend says it's really good so I'm going to just do my eyebrows and come back again. Okay, so eyebrows are done and I've primed with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't know if I'll be buying this again. Um, I think it's just too watery for me. It always moves my foundation underneath. I'm going to probably get the Stay Don't Stray again by Benefit. I've always loved that one. Anyway, um, this is the Love the Revolution eyeshadow and... Um, highlight palette. The only thing is, right, this kind of, it's not attached. This has just come out. So that's fun. Anyway, um, what drew me to this was the red, but I don't know, the shades that go together are like the red and these two, and maybe, like, I just don't know what I'm going to do with this palette yet, so, yeah. And also, my makeup brushes are dirty. Very sorry about that, but, you know, I think I'm going to go with like this kind of yellowy cream colour and just kind of pop that all over the lid. I'm going to go lightly because I don't know how pigmented this is. And then I'm going to go in with the pink on the bottom right and again, go all over the lid. I really like this pink. It's 
Oh, it's very pretty. I'm gonna put a fair bit on because it's not like a packing brush. Okay, I'm gonna take the red and a crease brush and put that through the crease as the brush name would suggest. And I'm doing a light hand because this red is pigmented. It's such a pretty red though. I'm kind of gonna blend it with it as well as I do so. Look how pigmented that red is. It's gorgeous. I haven't got an eyeshadow of this colour. I'd say they're about even. It looks a little crazy, but we're gonna darken it up a smidge. I'm gonna use the same brush, I don't wanna use too much. And I'm gonna take like dark colour. Thankfully they landed on me and it's fine but this shoddy quality this is like what? I'm taking that dark colour from the top anyway and I'm going to put it in the outer corner and like blend it in to the crease a little bit because this is like a dark purpley black almost it's got like a red shimmer in it Um, I don't know how that's going to show up on the lid though there's not a whole lot of fallout with these eyeshadows which I really like so that's good. Okay and I'm just going to blend that all out. It's looking a little bit crazy but not at the same time. The colours go well together, I just need to blend it, like that's why it's looking crazy. I'm blending that black kind of colour along to kind of make the red look a bit less red because it's making it look a little crazy. So, my problem with this palette is the colours don't go that well together, that's the like the tea I guess like I don't know maybe someone with more creativity could make it work or just generally better eyeshadow but I'm doing a whole lot of blending to get this to work I'm not gonna bother with the bottom lash line I just just back on it okay next we're gonna use the elf intense ink eyeliner and I'm gonna do eyeliner so it's as easy as that well that ended up long and thick I uh, don't know, well, that, I said that, let's just ignore that ever happened and try and fix this. Oh god, no. I do like this eyeliner. I like how you can kind of lay the eyeliner on top itself and it doesn't rub it away like some cheaper, I mean this is fair, she was only like £4.50. But the lesser quality tends to do. It's really blended away. Just, uh, this looks bloody awful, what have I done? Oh, my face looks so good, like my face makeup, not my general face, that looks shit as usual, but... Uh, it's like when my beauty brand is now just taking all the makeup off my cheek. And there's not nothing there. This is going so wrong. Yeah, I like this. It's got a nice thin tip. Um, it's actually like easy to move. I'm just terrible with eyeliner, so just ignore this eye. This eye looks bloody awful. Uh, right, I'm just gonna quickly do mascara. Uh, right, we finally made it to the exciting step. The highlighter is what I'm trying to say. I couldn't think of the word. Um, what are we gonna use? Okay, I'm gonna use the Zoeva Lux Face Focus 114 brush make sure there's no extra product on. I'm gonna swatch a couple for you first. Oh, I've been filming for like 40 minutes now. But obviously a lot of it's gonna be cut out. Um, so these two shades, the bottom, I probably wouldn't wear. I probably wouldn't wear this one either. It's a bit too dark for my skin tone. But these would be great for eye um, eyeshadows with me. This world gold one, I could, prop I could possibly get away with it. My friend uses this one, this is her favorite. Um, she's darker than me though. So really these four, well these three are more catered to me, this pink one, I don't know how I feel about it, I have, I love pink highlighters, I have three, four, five, I have five pink highlighters in different formulas, but I'm just going to swatch it, this one is just like, I think it might just be the tone of the pink, I just don't think it's right for my skin tone, I don't know if that's going to show up, probably not, let's try again. That's possibly picking up. I hope it is. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to swatch, the one I'm going to use today is the paper one, but I'm going to swatch these two top ones for you as well. This one's a good colour for my skin tone, I think, right there. And then I'm going to swatch with my pinky um, that one. Yeah, I think that one's a bit too dark for my skin tone. Again, I have no idea how this is actually showing up on camera. But I'm going to put the purple one on my face. Very excited to see if it's actually... Oh, it looks kind of purple on the brush. When I've swatched it, it doesn't look purple. The purple will not go on my eyeshadow, but whatever. Oh, bitch, that looks purple. Like, it does, but it doesn't. And this is, like, a dense brush. I'm disappointed because that glow is good. But it's so purple and on my hand it doesn't look purple at all. Okay, we're going to fix this champagne colour. The second one along on the top. Fix it. Okay, that's fixed it. Okay, that's fine. But now I have to even it out and do the same on the other side. Ugh. I'm such a fail, I swear to God. I fail at life. I'm terrible at everything. Do you ever just have them days when you just hate everything about yourself? Because I have them most days, frankly. Oh well. We've kind of fixed it. Let's put some on the eyeshadow. Not on the eyeshadow, on the brow bone. Oh, I'm going mental now. Nose. Make that glowy. And to keep it though. If you're going to use the purple, use a little bit. Unless you actually want purple cheekbones. In which case, go for your life. I'm going to put something on my lips, I'm going to go for my Ted Baker Perfect Nude Colour. It's not called Perfect Nude Colour, that's just, it's my Perfect Nude Colour. Okay, final thoughts on everything. So, foundation, I love, still love that, it looks really nice on my skin. Concealer, it's gone weird, I'm not going to lie, it's gone really weird. And I don't know if it's just it doesn't match. Sometimes with concealers that don't go right with the certain foundation or certain powder. Could be the powder I did fuck up on that end. But there is creasing. But then my eyes naturally do crease. I have yet to find a product that stops from creasing. But I like how much it brightened under my eyes. And I liked um, how light it felt and how easily it blended. It's just the coverage I'm a bit iffy about. It's, I mean it's not bad on me. It's still good coverage for me. But if you had darker circles in me. I am wondering how well it would cover. I've also seen my bathroom door has been open this whole time. Oh well. The highlighting palette I do really like. I'm glowing. Like that cheekbone looks amazing to me right now. Purple and all. The eyeshadows. I like the pigmentation and the way they blend. I just, I'm not sure about the colour combinations. That's all. It, they're a bit weird. The eyeliner I really like. My favourite thing about the eyeliner. Okay, so it is about six hours later. I'm in my bathroom because I don't know if you can tell, but like the light in my room is just terrible. Um, yes. So update on the makeup. I messaged a couple of people on Twitter that I knew, um, asking about if they tried the Revolution concealer because everyone I know said it was really high coverage, and I just didn't see that. And they said mix it because obviously they've been set for a while. So I give it a good mix, put it on again, and it was gorgeous. The only thing is, I'm gonna come in close. It's like obviously this has not been set, but it's really creased. It looks so strange. Um, so that doesn't look good. The eyeshadow is kind of breaking up, but again. I don't like this primer very much. Um, it's not the best one I've used. Like I said, the benefits stayed on straight. It's better. It could be partly the primer. I always have to use a primer. I have oily eyelids. It's the only part of my face that's oily. But also like the bridge of my nose. Um, and it creases. So I have to use a primer. No matter how good the eyeshadow is. It doesn't stay. Um, on my chin, as you can see, there's so much redness. It's really broken up but here it still looks really good like on my cheeks which is usually what happens like it always 
foundation always bursts out on my chin, but my forehead, cheeks and nose, it's still perfect. And I don't think I put enough primer on my chin. The highlight on um, this side of my face looks a bit cakey, but this side looks good, but I put too much on this side, so as well could be why. But overall, I like the majority of the products. I think the eyeshadows, the colours, I don't know if they go well together, but individually they're nice and they're good pigment and good quality. The foundation I love. The primer, I mean, my nose still looks pretty good around here. It's like going a bit funny, but again, always happens. Um, but like on the top of my nose, usually that kind of goes off, but it stayed. The powder I liked, I think like the makeup on my forehead is perfect still, like it's absolutely normal. Um, the eyeliner I mean, like it hasn't faded in the inner corners, which is great. So overall, I like everything. I just have small qualms with like the odd thing, but they're not a big deal. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe down below. Um, there's an icon. And I think it's this corner, like, there. Um, that's like an easy, quick subscribe, but I mean, realistically, you press that button, or there's a button like right below, so it's just as easy to slightly scroll down. Um, or if you're on a phone, it's right there anyway. Um, and my socials are linked down below as well, so follow me on them. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!